days after a crash that killed five people on Interstate 26 in Spartanburg County, we are learning more about the victims. Three of them were students at schools in Spartanburg County. Here is Kelsey O'Donnell with more. The Spartanburg County coroner says three children, their aunt and a man that's presumed to be their grandfather, died in a crash on Saturday, one that remains under investigation. Eight-year-old Jalicia Gist, a third grader at the Cleveland Academy of Leadership. 11-year-old Jay Curious Gist, a sixth grader who attended Fair Forest Middle School. And 14-year-old Ashton Ali, a freshman at Dorman High School, were all positively identified by the coroner Tuesday night, along with their aunt, Ashaya Bollinger. This is a lot of... You know, people praying for this family. Spartanburg County Coroner Rusty Clevenger presumes the fifth person killed Saturday was the children's grandfather, Leroy Covington, as they await additional DNA testing. Uh, these folks are treated like family whenever they're in our care because this is somebody that, you know, they, they love dearly. And as Highway Patrol continues investigating the crash that killed the family on Interstate 26. Troopers say a commercial vehicle holder hit a Toyota traveling westbound near mile marker 12 on the interstate, then crossed the cable barrier into oncoming traffic. That truck burst into flames after hitting a Honda carrying the family traveling eastbound. Tuesday night, the coroner identified the family after speaking with the children's mother. When we were able to tell her 100%, she was holding on to every bit of hope. The school districts the children attended are responding. District 6 posting a tribute in loving memory of the students. District 7 saying in part it's unimaginable for this family to suffer the loss of multiple children and family members at one time. And our hearts go out to Jalicia's mother, her family, and to all who loved her and those lost in this tragic accident. Children that don't understand, you know, why they're classmate or somebody they played sports with won't be coming back to school. Uh, it's a very hard reality. The school districts say they have additional counselors at school this week for students and faculty. As for the victim's family, the coroner says they will be leaning on each other and the community in the coming weeks. In Spartanburg County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. And the cause of the crash is still under investigation. The Highway Patrol is handling that along with the Spartanburg County Coroner's Office.